Hello, welcome to Operation Reorganization. This week features Bo and Noel Blythe. This is a great episode. Um, Tamara is their designer and they wanted kind of a dual purpose unit. They're straightening up and organizing their home office. She actually homeschools, so she needed a good place to do that. And they have a lot of books they wanted organized. And I think during the consultation, um, the words were that Bo wanted his smoking hot wife to be happy. Yeah, it was a nice, mm -hmm. uh, really nice unit. It was a wall-to-wall, -wall, uh, floor-to-ceiling unit, mm -hmm. so it's custom built in. Uh, one of the challenges that Tamara faced was they had an electrical panel in the room. So you can imagine you have this beautiful wall to work with, but there's an electrical panel there. Yeah. So, you know, that was a major concern, but Tamara mm -hmm. did a, a fabulous job of hiding the panel. The unit has 18-inch deep base cabinets with a laminate top all the way across. And then on top of that are 12-inch panels face-framed. Pretty. Uh, yeah, very pretty, and it gives ample storage for Noel's books. And Bo has Japanese warrior figures that he's going to store in there right, and right. books as well. So they, they both are very well-read people, and they wanted this unit to, uh, to be able to work for display and for function so that the, the uh, unit below is all behind doors and drawers. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it functions as an office slash uh, display unit. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a beautiful design, and it's a really custom, built-in, nice look. So I'm excited about this. Uh, project and I think it's going to look great once it's done. So enjoy the show. My name's Noelle. Um, about eight years ago, my husband and I bought this home and we loved a spare room that we had, but over the years it's turned into a storage space and we put bookcases in there with the intention of it being an office or a library and it has turned into a junk room. A couple years after we moved in the house, we'd done a few projects and we got pregnant after 10 years of trying and we put everything on hold. And now we have two boys and they're old enough to branch out through the house and we need more space and we really need to reclaim that space and make it a functioning room. I had heard of Closet Factory, but I thought that they were just for closets. And I was talking to a friend of mine and she suggested that I look at them for a bathroom remodel I was talking about. The bathroom remodel was fun, but I really needed the office space worked on right away. Every year we figure out a fund for whatever projects we're working with around the house to get it done. Um, we are hoping she can stay within the budget that we have. So we've taken the measurements and we've sat in the room and pondered what you want to accomplish. So the measurements are already here. Let's talk about how you want things placed. The first thing that I know you want is the electrical panel covered. Yes. That is what somebody sees when they walk through the door. Mm -hmm. And to cover it, we need to put doors. And so my question for you is, do you want the doors to be full height? Do you want them to go from the, where the ceiling angles all the way to the floor? Or do you want lower cabinets where maybe you have a countertop and you can have pull your books off and have somewhere to set them. Yeah, I think a full cabinet would almost look like a broom closet. I don't want that. Kind of. Yeah, I don't. Something smaller. Maybe. Okay. So then we'll do that. We'll do the lower cabinets. Do you want lower cabinets that maybe tie into a desk height so that oh. it's one continuous top? I'd like a desk. Okay, you'd like a desk. Yes. So. <laughs> Okay, so there will be a desk. So ideally, where I would like to put the desk is okay. right underneath the window. Yeah. Yeah, centered, almost, centered. I believe, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, like I think it. it's a perfect place for it. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's put in some panels, and let's pop in some cabinets. 
And would you like a shelf inside the cabinets? Yes, please. Okay, so we're putting shelves in there. And then we're gonna put the countertop. And we're gonna run the counter all the way down to the left edge of the window. And then above it, let's put some more panels, but these aren't gonna be as deep. Do you like the bottom cabinets to be maybe 18 inches deep? Well, that is that deep enough to store whatever I you might? I think so, yeah. Well, you're better with measurements. Would that be deep enough? Yeah, we definitely want it deeper than the bookshelves that are above. Um, okay. Just so that way we have some usable uh, counter space. A 19 inch desk is a good depth for oh. somebody who's just going to be using something like a laptop. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I need it that's for. That's perfect. That's exactly what I need it for. And the desktop overhangs the cabinets by an inch, therefore cabinets at 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. It does, all I need is a laptop and my coffee and I'm good. Okay. Okay. Yep, that'll work. All right, Perfect. so this counter is 19 inches deep and then the mm -hmm. cabinets above, where your books are gonna go, I would say 12 inches. Okay. Most books, unless it's large photo albums, they're not larger than 12 inches. Actually, the photo albums will probably be what goes in the cabinet underneath. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So then when we come past the window, this will be all open underneath here. Okay. Let's see about how wide your wow. desk would be. Your desk is going to be about 47 inches wide. That's a, that's a good size. Oh yeah, that's a fantastic <laughs> desk. Oh, I could put a computer, coffee, and a book. Yeah, that was a long <laughs> time to do. That's nice. Okay. So what do you want to do on the left-hand side? I have I have a really big printer because I do a lot of work and photocopies and things and so it's a big space and I need a big space for that the printer. Okay. That's the only thing and I can't get rid of my filing cabinet. Yeah. So I know you were saying something about maybe putting in a filing cabinet mm -hmm. which would be fantastic because the one I have is just bulky and needs to go. It needs to go. One of my favorite things in an office is a lateral file drawer. Okay. Those are the file drawers where the files go from side to side instead of going from your wall out. Yeah. So that file drawer will give you another eight inches of filing capacity. Okay. Something else I think it needs is flat base trim along the bottom instead of toe kicks. Okay. The trim gets attached to the front edge of everything and it's one continuous strip and it's just finished. It's, it's a really, really nice look, I, especially with your floor. I think it's mandatory. Okay. Now, are those flush with the doors? Like yes. The, so that's what you mean by like total flat in mm -hmm. the front. Mm -hmm. I think that would look great. And of course, if Noah likes it, that's what Noah gets. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. You're smoking hot wife. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then we'll look at samples and I'll be taking this back to my office and doing okay. some finishing touches on it just to, okay. to finalize everything. I'll send you a copy Perfect. and then you'll do a final approval on it. Okay. But I, I think we've got the plan. And I love that. Next okay. step is installation. I can't wait. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <gasps>
wall. <laughs> Do not mess with me like that. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Awesome. It's gorgeous. Awesome. All I got left is just to throw these bottom doors on and we can bring in the clients. And you were able to bring a one-piece countertop. Yep. Sweet. This is not the strongest guy in the whole factory out here. Where is in. he? Oh, it's That's you? not funny. Oh. <laughs> full of jokes. You are full of jokes today. I am. It's a good day. Yep. This is so pretty. I am thrilled. Thank you. No problem. So I just finished up the install at the Blythe residence. Uh, everything went good, very seamless install. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Tamara and um, she can show the client. Are you ready to see something incredible? Fantastic. I like it. What do you Can think? you breathe? No. <laughs> I'm ready to put things on it now. So, wow. It just seems so much bigger in here. Wow. You ready to explore? Yes. Okay, so first of all, when you walked in, what did you not see? The ugly electrical panel. <gasps> it's hidden. I love it. You can't see it at all. Mm -mm. And it still has space in there to put things. Yeah, you can put stuff yeah. in there. Yes. You can grab it down there at the bottom too. Yeah, mm -hmm. right there in the corner. Yeah. And Fantastic. look at this hardware with your countertop. It matches perfectly. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, wow. And let me tell you about the countertop. It was going to have a seam. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. They called me and they said, so we can do a one-piece countertop if we can figure out a way to bring it into the house. And I said, guess what? There's an exterior entrance right there by this room. Oh, wow. So they were able to do it without a seam. It's a oh, one-piece countertop. Nice. Very clean. Very clean. Very. Yep. It's so beautiful. And my so, desk. I finally have a desk. You have a desk and somewhere for your printer and mm. yeah. So open stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take it for a test drive. <gasps> You can't even see it, but there's enough in here for all the bits and pieces. Oh, it's lovely. You have a lateral file over there, too. I know. <laughs> oh, all my school stuff's going to go here, and all the projects and all the different things that we have going on. It's like a little office that's tucked away. I love it. Perfect. And it's adjustable, so you've got the holes, and that means you can move your shelves around. I think they set it up perfectly because okay. it looks beautiful, and it'll be big enough for the larger books to go on the bottom, and then smaller books inside. But no, I think they sh they sized it perfectly, and the window's perfectly centered because it's a beautiful view. And yes, it is. We've just had so much stuff in here. And your Japanese warriors, where are they going to go? <laughs> oh, all over the place. All over the yeah, place. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make sure she has something to dust in here, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. And you're going to put lighting in? You want to do yeah. that yourself? Yeah, we'll do LED lighting up top. I'll run a new uh, receptacle and then uh, maybe a switch to the wall. So, yeah. I look forward to doing that. That'll be my next project on my to-do list. Yeah. Uh, aren't you glad you, you know, pulled the trigger and did this? I am. I am. Because like when we first met, you, we were sitting in here and it was like... I didn't know what to say. I knew I needed bookcases. I didn't think I needed cabinets. I didn't think I needed a desk. And then I realized I did when I was working on top of files. It's a minimalist Minimalist, feel, right? yeah. Minimalist, yeah. straight lines, that's what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. Very clean. Yeah. Very almost, but kind of that natural look, so it's not completely... Mm -hmm. I love it. I'm so excited. We'll do another room soon. Okay. <laughs> Most of my clients do, so it's just a matter yeah. of time. Yeah, you'll come up with something else. We'll have to do the other side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Perfect. Thank you, Tamara. Thank You're you so welcome. much. I thank you. Yes. Yeah, thank you. We're not doing the handshaking thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. It's fantastic. Yes. I love it. 
Wow, it has been such a wonderful day. I love it when my clients are almost in tears when they see the reveal. I can't wait to see what it's like when they put all of their stuff in the shelves, but it's been a great day. And there's a lot of responsibility in being an awesome designer. I just want you to know that. So on to the next one. So I'm here at the Blythe House. I cannot wait to see this bookcase. When we installed, all I saw was an empty, empty shelves. None of their important items or books were in there. So it's all been decorated. So that always makes a huge difference. Real excited to be seeing the fact too that she has been purging in her house. This project led to them eliminating a lot of things that they had just been stockpiling. So I can't wait to see how one thing has led to another and I'm just gonna get inside right now and start to look around, follow me. Hey, hey. how are you? I'm good, how are you? Great. So this is what we've done. I love it. Do you like it? Yeah, I really do, I love it. Well, you've got a lot of books. We do have a lot of books. And it fit all of them, and then we actually realized we had some duplicates. So we ended up purging too, which then led to purging other rooms. So you'll be back because we found a few other things that we want to do in a couple other rooms now. Okay. But yeah, this is what we've done. We ended up putting all of the books here. We were able to categorize them. Tell me about all of the Japanese guys. Um, years ago, Bo started collecting um, Jap Japanese samurai that were bronze and he loved them and he pulled out the ones that he really liked and has put away the ones that weren't as important to him. He kept the ones that he really cared for. Against the books, they really pop out. They do. They really do. We had a few of the toy soldiers that he had that were samurai too that came out. He didn't want to put anything up there except his favorite two samurai and then the soldiers, samurai soldiers. Okay, looks good. So tell me about your cabinets. My cabinets now, so what we've done is we've organized this where this is Bo's um, work items. Down in here we managed to keep this one specifically for photographs. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting rid of any of the photography stuff, our wedding album. I didn't realize how many different photography things we had and they closed quietly. This one was strictly work and old DVDs that we had. So this cabinet went to that. And that was all that was really sitting in here in boxes. And so I'm just glad that that's gone. Um, this last one, like I said, was his photography. And this cabinet has been a godsend because we kept the security system in here. The this is our network. We have the modems in here and then anything we have associated to the security cameras for the house. So this is our hub for everything from the home. Perfect. I love it. And again, they close so quietly. So let me show you Bo's office hub that he has here. So this actually was spaced perfectly for the printer. Now, the reason that you had made that big space there was for when the copier opened. It mm -hmm. wouldn't bump into the top shelf. Mm -hmm. So now we can do all of the schooling stuff here, all of the office stuff. We can make photocopies quickly. Another thing that's neat is I can actually print something from the other room and it'll come right out to here so I don't even have to. It's all wireless. This is great. And that little plug that's back here is well hidden for any of the electronic stuff that goes here. It is. It's a real clean look. I love it. You don't even know what's going on. So I, I think it's great. It's just very simple. And then like I said, the filing cabinet, the old filing cabinet took up this much space and it was this tall. And now we've got everything in this drawer. And then it's just very simple. There's nothing else in there but a few items. And just, you even have your diffuser in here. I do have my diffuser in here. <laughs> Keeps the air clean. I like the lamp actually. It Thank you. It continues with the Japanese theme. It does. That was... Is he? <laughs> Plenty of leg room for him? Yes, it's a lot of leg room for him. A lot of leg room. And the natural light comes in, so that's helpful too. Absolutely. Okay. And it's quiet in here too. Another thing we noticed 
about this room is that it's actually cooler in here because the bookcase created an insulation for the oh. room. So this summer, we've actually been able to enjoy this room more, which was not in our plans at all, but it really has. It's created an insulation. I didn't realize how hot this room got until we put the bookcase in. Yet another added benefit of closet I, exactly. factory. Exactly. Yes. I love it. And this was another thing. We had all this weight with all these books. None of these shelves bended or anything. They all look wonderful. Even with the heavy, I mean, these are bronze statues and tons of books. And it all looks straight, good lines. I'm really grateful for that because that was a concern. Well, when I'm designing bookcases like this, I tend never to go wider than 28 inches. If you keep it within 28 inches, mm -hmm. it minimizes any sagging of the shelves. I love it. So sometimes you go out and you buy a bookcase from mm -hmm. a box store or something, and they've gone bigger, mm -hmm. and then the shelves do start to sag, mm -hmm. and the material there isn't as thick as this is. Right. So this holds really well. Each shelf should hold about 50 pounds of books. Well, it definitely did. It does. It's full, especially things like these are heavy. I know these are really heavy. Yeah. I love it. I love the color. I love the way it looks with the wall, with your paint, just everything about it. I'm so glad you gave me a chance to do this. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. Like I said, it led to other projects in the house now, so we've been having a good time cleaning things out, getting reorganized. Yeah. Well, I'm ready for the next project, so y'all just ask. Next is the laundry room. Oh, yes. We yes. talked about that before. So that's next. Okay. <laughs> I'm game. Game when you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'll get you to the door. This was originally a gift for me. My husband wanted to give me a gift of organization. I was really upset about the fact that this room wasn't being used. And as we went through it, he realized that it wasn't just for me, it was for both of us. We both needed another space. We were ignoring this room in our house and then we went back through a bunch of pictures and different projects we'd started together and finished and some we didn't finish and we had a really good time going through it so it was a lot of fun. A quarter of the stuff that we had in this room was just junk, stuff we shouldn't have ever had to look at again. And we made some money because we sold a lot of it. I loved working with Tamara, I loved working with Closet Factory and they cleaned up after themselves which was one less thing I had to do. I was really happy about that. In the end Closet Factory made us a little bit of money and gave us peace of mind and definitely gave me a whole nother room to use and real estate itself is valuable and now we have this room back.